So, this is just, um, they do have black watercolor paper these days. I actually forgot to bring that down with me. Um, I just brought this guy down as a to show you the different palettes and that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money if you want to just test something. And these are fun too, especially like if you're doing the little cards, you can add a little metallic something to um, your, your painting, a little bling. And while we're doing this, I might as well show you the fan brush. Now you, you see these in all different kinds of shapes. This is, is more of a, a bristle. So it's kind of a little rougher. It's a natural bristle, but I beat these up. I, I don't care. I use them to put in like foliage or skies and everything. But today we will try a few of these pearlescents. And they're really, really, maybe I should just put that up here. See if that's easier. So, this, get in there, um, this set, I'm, I'm sure if you went to any of the local uh, hobby stores, you will find some form of this um, pearlescent. And as you can see it, it holds up well. This is just a, a piece of actually uh, charcoal um, drawing paper. There is a watercolor paper that comes in black. Um, but these kind of sets are just fun to play with and discover little things. And, and you can, you know, use it as the accent on your monogram or something. Or, or just something to draw a little bit more of attention to. Um, things or people. Um, another, as I said, I'm always um, saving my little uh, spray bottles and coveting people that have some type of spray bottle. As a watercolorist, white was always frowned upon and I never really thought to use it. Um, and lately, now that I'm kind of paying attention to the big boys, I see how much they do use it. Because I'll look at something and I'll think, wow, how'd they get that? And then if I see it close, I go, oh. Once you add white and you're, you're making things opaque, the, um, you know, working with the transparency of the, the colors it is changed. Because here, the, this area, I'm not using frisket or anything. This is just an area I left white with my brush. Um, but I, I try, I usually don't use white paint if I'm doing watercolor. So it's kind of a new thing for me to experiment with because I have seen a lot of really amazing work and, and they're just coming back in there and you're, you're getting there. Oops, that little accent. So one of the things I was playing around with was um, I took the Titanic or <laughs> uh, Titanic, oh my God, titanium white. And um, I put it, I telling myself, I put it in a little bit of a gouache, which is going to give it a little bit more body. Um, see if that's still, see, this is a kind of, I haven't used this for a while, but if I were working on this, I can come in and throw some snow on my, my painting if I want. Um, I can have snow on there. Or if I want to soften things, this uh, can be a, a fun effect to, to do that with. Um, that's yet another why it's so much fun, because there are no rules. There's tons of little things that you can play with. 